one cannot talk about differentiated instruction without bringing up Bloom's Taxonomy. Bloom's Taxonomy is a tiered ordering of cognitive skills that can, among countless other uses, help teachers teach and students learn. So Bloom's Taxonomy has these tiers of cognitive functions and skills. At the basic level is remember. When you remember, you recall facts and basic concepts. This is the lowest order of thinking in Bloom's Taxonomy. One who is doing the remembering, if you will, they have to define or to duplicate or to just simply list. Next, understand. This gives a student the opportunity to explain ideas or concepts or to classify, describe, or discuss. Next is apply. This gives a student an opportunity to use information in new situations. They can execute or implement or to solve or use or demonstrate. Next, on Bloom's Taxonomy, when you ratchet up the rigor, you're moving on to analyze. To analyze means to draw connections among ideas. You can differentiate, ding, 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 organize, relate, compare and contrast, distinguish. There's many other verbs that can be employed, actions, performances that can be done when you analyze. Next up, we're getting high on the pyramid, high on the Bloom's Taxonomy, on the ratchet wheel of rigor. You evaluate. When you evaluate, you justify a stand or decision. This is when you defend, uh, you appraise, you argue, you judge, you critique. Uh, so you can tell that you're ratcheting up the rigor. There's a lot of higher order thinking skills that need to be employed with evaluation. And lastly, at the top of the pyramid, the highest order of thinking, create. This gives students the opportunity to produce new or original work. They can assemble, construct, conjecture. That means they have to think really far outside the box. And this is the highest order of thinking, but as you move up the, uh, the pyramid, or as you move up the complexity level, the, students, uh, the, the demands of students will increase.